everyone. How are you doing today? This is Jim Prusak, the Pain PT. We're going to talk today about walk the walk and talk the talk. How to act and behave on a daily basis using Dr. Sarno's three do's and three don'ts. We're going to learn how to walk the walk and talk the talk in relation to TMS PPD. Talking the talk is learning to send the right messages to parts of your brain and ultimately to your body through the nervous system. Walking the walk is then taking actions and behaving in ways that directly align with your TMS PPD talk. You got to combine both walking and talking to make lasting changes in the brain. Otherwise, by itself, talk is cheap. You can't say one thing and do another. In fact, your actions speak louder than your words. So it's really important to not just talk the talk, but to back it up with walking the walk as well. This idea plays right into Dr. Sarno's core three do's and don'ts. He mentions in his best-selling book, Healing Back Pain. These six core TMS PPD teachings include both talking to your brain and also backing it up with taking action, which is walking the walk. We're going to review these here. Keep it simple. Use all six of Dr. Sarno's do's and don'ts every day. Without fail, walk your walk and talk your talk. You will soon find that you are taking talking a new language to yourself and walking yourself right out of pain. We know TMS PPD originates from a stressed brain and nervous system and not from structural issues in the body, meaning there is no tissue damage like with an acute injury. Because TMS PPD is not a physical issue in the body, it's really important that you start talking to yourself in this way. Tell yourself this is psychological and originates from the brain and nervous system, not the body. Dr. Sarno states in one of his three don'ts, this is the first of the three don'ts, don't think of yourself as being injured. Psychological conditioning contributes to ongoing back pain or any other TMS PPD symptom. But it's not enough to just think and tell yourself you're not injured and that you're fine physically. You've got to back yourself talk by walking the walk. One way to do this is one of Dr. Sarna's three do's. And this first three do is to stop all physical treatments for your back or any other body part. They may be blocking your recovery. You need to stop physical treatments because the pain and symptoms are not from a physical cause. It makes no sense to go for physical treatment when the cause is psychological. If you are telling yourself this is not physical, but then going for physical treatment, You're just confusing your brain and seeding more doubt. Stopping all physical treatments is taking a clear action that directly supports what you're telling yourself about TMS and PPD. This action sends a very strong and real message in your brain that you are not injured and erases doubts you may have that this is still physical. Another way to erase brain doubt is Dr. Sarno's second do. This is another action to take and a very powerful one that strongly supports your thinking that you are not physically injured. This second do is literally walking the walk and not just talking the talk. Dr. Sarno says, resume physical activity, it won't hurt you. This do is one of the ones I get asked about a lot since I'm a physical therapist. I tell people to fully heal, you have to gradually and steadily return to all physical activities you stopped or have been avoiding because of symptoms or fear. I give people a list to make of all the physical activities they are still avoiding. In theory, and also in reality, with TMS PPD, you can return 100% to all physical activities right now. This is because there is no tissue damage like with an acute injury. I have seen people do it, and it's powerful. However, it is difficult for many people to jump in 100% when they have been doing very little. I recommend you gradually and steadily increase your physical activities each day. While you do that, you have to practice what's called outcome independence. This means you are not tied to the outcome if you engage in a certain physical activity. So if you get a spike in pain or symptoms from physical activity, you don't get thrown off course. To move forward and not get stuck, you got to keep talking to the brain while you walk the walk. This leads right into Dr. Sarno's next don't. This self-talk measure is really important because this is where the rubber meets the road. Everything is fine and everyone believes in TMS PPD 100%, but 
until they have a spike in pain or symptoms. With rising pain or physical symptoms, the brain can start to doubt that it's TMS, PPD anymore. The brain moves from conviction to the brain moves from conviction to worry, anxiety, fear, catastrophizing, rumination, and hypervigilance. This leads to more pain and symptoms. You have to overcome this to overcome TMS PPD. So Dr. Sarno is spot on in his second of his three don'ts when he says, don't be intimidated by back pain or any other TMS PPD pain or symptom. You have the power to overcome it. You do have the power to overcome this. The power comes from your brain. You have to override the negative and fearful messages your emotional brain spits out when you get a rise in pain or symptoms. We have the science now from a study in Stanford 2020 to show that when we are anxious, which includes fear, worry, rumination, catastrophizing, hypervigilance, there is a strong one-way signal. There's a strong one-way signal from your amygdala, which is part of your emotional brain, to your prefrontal cortex, your rational thinking brain but very little to even no signal going back the opposite way from your prefrontal cortex to your amygdala. What this means is you're being controlled by your emotional brain and your rational logical brain isn't doing anything about it. So you can't be intimidated by your emotional brain. You have to get your rational logical thinking brain talking with conviction to your irrational limbic emotional brain. Dr. Sarno says this in the last of his three do's when he says, talk to your brain. Tell it you won't take it anymore. This is talking the talk. You have to use your logical brain, which understands and knows your pain or symptoms are TMS and PPD, to talk to your rational brain, which mistakenly thinks you are in physical danger. You have the power to overcome this, as Dr. Sarno states. You just have to tell it, the emotional brain, you won't take it anymore. In scientific terms, and in reference to the Stanford study, doing this sends a strong signal from your prefrontal cortex back to your amygdala. You are telling your emotional brain you are fine, that you won't be buying into this. This essentially quiets down your amygdala. A study out of Duke in 2020 showed when they shut off the amygdala in mice, they profoundly shut off physical pain and subsequent pain behaviors like licking and rubbing the painful spot. The researcher said the results were unexpected because they were shutting down an emotional center in the brain to shut down physical pain. I think Dr. Sarna would be chuckling right now as he's been doing this with his patients for years. Now the last of Dr. Sarna's three don'ts is the foundation of his work and over a 50 year understanding of working with TMS PPD. This is the idea that stress and repressed unconscious emotions trigger TMS, PPD, pain, and symptoms. We have more and more recent science supporting Dr. Sarno's premise. We know when you suppress and repress emotional feelings, it amplifies the pain response. We also know a stressed brain causes, amplifies, and perpetuates physical symptoms. So in light of this, Dr. Sarno says in his last don't, don't repress your anger or emotions. They can give you a pain in the back or a pain or physical symptom anywhere else for that matter. This is the last action step of walking the walk, so to speak. You should take some time each day to look at your emotional state, feel your feelings, and notice your stresses, both past and present, some of which may not be that obvious to you. There are different ways to do this. You can express emotions and stress via written expression, which is journaling, through body expression, which is somatics, or through verbal expression, talking to someone. What you are learning is to express instead of repress and suppress your natural feelings and stresses when they arise. This alleviates the stress response in the brain, which in turn alleviates the physical manifestation of stress in your body. So I want you to apply these Dr. Sarno's six do's and don'ts each day. You want to walk the walk and talk the talk to overcome TMS PPD. Get after it. Reach out to me with any questions or if you need any help with this process. I'm going to finish up here by just reviewing Dr. Sarno's three do's and don'ts. So the first of his three do's, stop all physical treatments for your back or any other body part. They may be blocking your recovery. The second do, 
Resume physical activity. It won't hurt you. And the final do, talk to your brain. Tell it you won't take it anymore. Dr. Sarna's three don'ts. The first one, don't think of yourself as being injured. Psychological conditioning contributes to ongoing back pain or any other TMS PPD symptom. The second don't, don't be intimidated by back pain or any other TMS PPD pain or symptom. You have the power to overcome it. And the final don't, don't repress your anger or emotions. They can give you a pain in the back or a pain or physical symptom anywhere else for that matter. I hope this was helpful, guys. Read through it, come back to it, practice it, embody it each day, and I think you'll see some success. Take care now.